48 going that way. The eight foot's hitting the ceiling and we're gonna be fighting it. I've started in construction with nothing. I took a few dollars, bought a saw, had a pencil, and then the next job, took a few dollars out of that, bought some drills, and just slowly built up the tools as I needed them for the jobs. I uh, started my own company, originally doing home staging. I had received a call from a different company. Their service guy had fallen ill, and so they phoned me to complete a job for them and then complete another job for them, and then I became their full-time service person. Wednesday, and then when I asked her yes, some of the hurdles I've had has been being a woman in construction. I've shown up at job sites and I've had primarily men look at you and be like, well, who, is this everyone? This is everyone. Well, where's everyone else? You have me. Well, can you finish the job? That's why I'm here. I've had other men almost be disgusted that a female would be at their job. I've had one job where um, they were silent the whole time while I was working. Being a woman uh, on the job site uh, has been either good or has been bad. As long as you can physically do the job and just find different ways to have the same outcome. I'm most proud of what I've been able to accomplish from what I knew when I started was fairly minimal and so much I had to figure out as I went along. There was a lot of mistakes on the way, but you learn from your mistakes as well. And it's all in not making the mistake, but how you're going to correct your mistake. My job has affected my life in a lot of different aspects. One aspect is the long hours that I could have, so I don't have the time to necessarily be at home and keep up on laundry, keep up on house cleaning, keep up on day-to-day -day children's items. Didn't Kaden have a friend that he still has from kindergarten? Gavin, but they're not the closest of Quite often I'm asked by clients or new customers, um, as so many people are curious when I show up at their house, if my family was in construction, is this something that has been passed on to me? And this has not been something that has been passed on to me. So this is something that I have fallen into, worked my way through um, to do it the best that I possibly can. There's a lot of days that are not easy when you're a one-man show, but at the end of the day, when you're able to see what you're able to do for your family, um, that's rewarding in itself. If someone wanted to get into construction, whether it's a male or a female, some of the hurdles that I've been into is obviously building up a network of people to refer you. So I'm in a very niche um, type construction. Specializing in one thing is better than being a general contractor. 